Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alejandra. I hope you had a wonderful 2023 and you are just getting ready to receive the new year. Today, I want to show you a very quick example of how I decide when to use table transform rows or table transform columns uh, using Power Query, of course. And I hope you find it useful. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me in LinkedIn so you don't miss any of the new content that I upload. And also share. Share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Without further ado, let's start. Here I have a very simple table. Let's say these are tra uh, bank transactions. I have a column for date, reference, and amount. Let's bring this, this to Power Query. I can go inside of the table and right click and select Get Data from Table Range. Or I can also go to Data from Table Range. I'm using Microsoft 365. The Power Query editor opens. And let me zoom in, Control C plus. On the left, I have the name of the query, which is the name of the table. That is what Power Query assigns. So I'm going to just double click where it says table one, uh, so I can edit. And I'm going to call this table transform rows. Let's start with that one. And you can see, I can change that there, or I can change the name right over here on the properties uh, where it says name. I can change that there as well. Here, where it says apply the steps, you can see that Power Query changed the data type for me. I don't want to do that just yet. It's too early. And I'm going to just remove that. I click at that X on the left of that step. And I just stay with the uh, step source. What Power Query is doing here is bringing from the existing workbook, bringing the table one bringing the information that is inside of the column content, which is the table that we are seeing here. If I remove this part, I'm going to select from the curly bracket until the closing um, square bracket, Control X, so I can keep that handy. If I press Enter, here is the column content, here is the column name, here is where it's coming, uh, table one is coming from, and here where it says content, if I click on the right where it says table, that is, uh, I'm going to just uh, expand this a little bit so you can see the content of that table right so that's what power query is bringing information from and what it's doing at here at the end is bringing table one from the column content in this case we have only one line but if we had more lines we could see the different table names and then what is bringing is what is inside of the column content that belongs to table one Right, so I'm going to press enter so we can bring that content again. And for the foul power query creates this step of change type. I'm going to remove it again. Here we have the table that I just showed you. And let's say I'm going to hide the queries section. Control Shift plus to zoom in a little bit more so we have more room here on the table. Let's say I want to transform the column reference and I want to uh, replace this ch dot for the word check and let's start with table transform rows i'm going to create a new step here on fx i'm going to click there to add that step after the equal say table transform rows this open parenthesis is asking me for a table the table is coming from my previous step called source which is the table that we are seeing here comma I need to provide a tra the transformation as a function. And for that, I have the keyword each. Each is a keyword for a function. And what I want to do is text replace right here. Open parenthesis, I need to provide the text. Well, the text will come from the column reference. So I'm going to provide that in square brackets, reference. Um, after the closing square bracket, I need to provide the all text um, inside of quotation marks i'm going to say ch dot make sure that you're spelling that information exactly the same that is presented here in this column and what is the new text the new text will be inside of quotation marks as well uh, check i'm going to provide a space as well and all of that is inside of the quotation marks i go outside of the uh, parentheses that is um, closing the Text replace. I'm going to provide a closing parenthesis for the table transform rows. Enter. And now you see that I have the transformation for that column as a list. Here you can see that I have check, check instead of ch. It has been 
replace for the word check and one space. So in this case, or there will be cases when you have a function that is asking you the information from a column and you need to provide that information as a list. This is a very good way to get that information as a list. In my case, it doesn't work. I want to have this transformation, but I want to keep my other two columns because with table transform rows, you can transform one column at a time. I don't want that. I want to keep my other columns around, right? So if I want to keep my other columns around, I only want to transform the existing column. Then what I do, I use table transform columns. Uh, to do that, let me just copy this step, Control C, so I can bring the, the same table. That is the one that we are seeing here. I'm going to expand this area for the queries. Right-click, New Query, Other Sources, Blank Query. And I'm going to name this query, Table Transform Columns. Enter. Here on the formula bar, Control V to paste, press Enter. And here I have the same table. I'm going to um, hide the queries uh, section. And then again, Power Query created this step for me. Change type. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to create a new step after my source. After the equal, I'm going to say table transform columns. Oh, transform, not the columns. Be careful. I always do that. There we go. Transform columns. Parentheses, uh, it's asking me for a table. The table is coming from my step source. The that is the table that we are seeing just right here. And I need to transform the, to provide the transformation as a list. So when I'm going to transform only one column, I usually just provide one set of curly brackets. When I'm going to transform more than one column in the table that I'm working on, then I provide double set of curly brackets. And let's say in this case, I'm going to provide that, the second set of square brackets. And here I'm going to provide the name of the column that I want to transform. In this case, will be reference. Let's make sure that you spell that name correctly. And remember that Power Query is case sensitive. For the transformation, I'm going to provide the word each, that is keyword for a function. And I want to say text replace or open parentheses. The text, the text is coming from reference here. I was spelling this wrong. And I'm telling you to spell correctly. The text that I'm going to replace will come from this column reference. So for that reason, I'm going to provide the underscore. For me, providing the underscore is telling Power Query that from this column reference, I need that Power Query looks at every single line of that column. And what I want to do is I want to replace the old text, which is ch dot. And I'm going to provide the comma after the closing quotation marks. And I'm going to provide the new text. That text will be check. And I'm going to provide one, uh, one space after. And I think that's about it. Go to the end, close parentheses for the table transform column, press enter. And now you can see that our uh, text has been replaced. We have check, check, the whole word check. I'm going to expand this here. So you can see the table transform columns for the table that is coming from my previous step, my step source, the column that we transformed was the, the column reference. I kept my other two columns. In this case, I wanted to transform the existing column. I didn't want to create a new column and do the transformations there and then later on delete the original column called reference. No, in this case, I wanted to keep only one column. I didn't want to add an, a, a new one. I wanted to transform the existing one. And now let's say I want to also transform my column amount. And to do that, remember that we provided a double set of curly brackets. Uh, let's say I'm going to uh, shift enter to go to the next line. Here is my set of curly brackets inside of my other set of curly brackets. So after the first closing curly brackets, I'm going to provide a comma, shift enter, and then I'm going to provide my next set of curly brackets. And then I'm going to say that I want to transform the column amount. 
comma. What is the transformation that I want to process in that column? Well, I want to, let's say, I want to multiply every single line that is in that column times 1 million, let's say. Go to the end, and uh, yes, I have my closing curly brackets for the second column. Now I can go and press Enter. And now you can see that with the same function, I have transformed the column reference and the column amount. Wonderful. This function is very powerful. And that's how I decide when I use table transform rows or table transform columns. Table transform rows will return a list from the column that you are transforming. Table transform column will keep all the other columns. It will work with your table and it will transform one or more of the columns inside of that uh, table. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me in LinkedIn. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next year, in the next video. Bye-bye.